What's good, y'all? It's your girl, Sweet Nina. Now I'm back with a, another video. This was a mixture of a couple days over the weekend, um, February 3rd. So this was like midnight, Saturday morning. Now it's folding clothes. Um, there was clothes I was just, you see that shirt was very wrinkled because it was sitting in a basket. You know how you just go through those bouts where you've done everything for the longest, for so long. And you just want to take a break from doing stuff. So I wash clothes and I just typically just let them sit in the basket for a couple of days. Because I just generally didn't feel like folding them up. Um, but this day was Saturday morning, literally like 12, 13, 12, 15. It was after midnight and I just, you know, was like, let me get these clothes together. Let me get them up out of this basket. Let me get them put where they need to go. Some need to be hung up. You know, others going into the drawers. And it's just one of those where I didn't feel like doing it, but it needed to be done. It was one of those Saturdays where Friday, it was just like, Ugh, I don't feel like doing nothing besides just relaxing myself. But I had to get it done. So that's what I'm doing here. A bed full of clothes. My son's son was using the bathroom. So he was like, Mama, I got to go potty. Okay, go potty. You know, I'm doing this, you know. Um, it was a weekend, so I let him stay up a little later. But, yeah. I've been trying to make sure I try to stay positive thinking, writing in my journal, praying, you know, getting back closer to God, refinding myself because I've lost myself over the years. This year is refining myself because I've given my all and lost who I was in the midst of that. So now it's my year to find me, get back to who Nina is, get back to what I like to do, get back to who I like to be around, get back to all of those things. So just...
good, y'all. A little crazy. It is 10.43 in the morning. And me and Sunshine are on the way to get gas, pick up my glasses, and then go to see his <laughs> Nana Pop Pops. See my uh, family. Uh, so I have someone's hair to do, which is great. Make all the little bit of money that you can. And that's what I'll be doing. It's braiding hair so I can make a little bit of extra money. Um, but yeah. So come along with me. Um, and of course, if you've been here before, welcome back. If you are new, welcome. I am the girl Sweet Nina. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Coffee almost spilled. Yes, because people doing too much. Because it's Saturday and people can't drive. Yes. And then go see my folks. So I can spend a little bit of time but also make some money doing some hair. So yeah, come along with us. Okay, y'all, I done picked up my glasses, are the new ones. I think I did a quick before, right before I got them. So like they said, these ones, they're slightly with more medicine than my older ones. So my old ones are literally two years old. I did not go as recommended. So, all right, who going? Okay, so. Uh, I was, I could, I could, with my insurance that I have right now, I can go every year, and each year that I go, my insurance covers up to $300 per frame that I choose. And I don't be thinking about myself. I just be, you know, what's it called? Uh, making sure that my family's okay. So I never think of anything that I need. I always put it off. And that's not okay because that means I neglect myself often. Stop kicking the, the seat, please. So, literally, I've been putting my eye exam off for two years. Every time I make an appointment, either I miss it because somebody else needs something, or, oh, look how crispy. Yes. Sorry, y'all. Or I make an appointment and, like, I'm sick or something. So, and then I just never get to make another appointment when I need to. So, finally, a couple weeks ago, I made an appointment. More like three weeks ago. Yeah. Was it three weeks ago? Mm, two weeks. Yeah, so more like three weeks ago, I was able to finally go. I made an appointment for me and my son because he's at that age now where the places, he's trying to put his hand in the camera because he can see it. And he's trying to show his little face. <laughs> but, um, sorry, it's hard to breathe. I've been having a hard time breathing. So I'm gonna make an appointment for that too. Anyway, um, I, three weeks ago, well, three and a half weeks before that, I made an appointment, but, well, I went to go walk in, thinking that I could just walk in like we used to, to you know, oh, you know, I want to get my eye checked. Let's go to let's go to the eye doctor today. You know what I mean? No, not anymore. It doesn't work that way. You have to make an appointment with most places now, which I really didn't know. So, um, ended up when I walked in, they were just like, no, it's appointment only. So I made an appointment. So we went. Me and son son went a couple weeks back. I don't remember if I vlogged that or not. Like us going. I know I didn't vlog us in there, but. We went a couple weeks back, got our eyes checked. Of course, 
he's okay. He's young. He has good vision. Thank God. Hopefully his vision does not turn out like me or his father's for that matter. Um, but my vision, of course, I haven't had my eyes checked for two years. And plus, I'm in front of a freaking computer eight hours of a day. Plus, and I'm on my phone, watching TV and all these things. So that deteriorates my eyes more. So, but the doctor said it's not much. So I was happy with that, you know what I mean? I have astigmatism in each eye and have had one for years. Um, I was thinking about getting LASIK, but then I'm like, I don't know. Because I like my look with glasses at the same time. Like this is my look without glasses. I think I look a lot older than with my glasses. I think I look a little younger. But I've been wearing glasses since I was 12. I'll be 38 next month. So, I don't know, y'all. But I definitely was thinking about LASIK. But then I think with the LASIK, I'm going to be like, well, let me go get some glasses to put on. Just because I'm so used to it. So, it's it's really a, I don't know, I guess you can say back and forth thing. Because I really don't know. Um, But these ones I love. When I tell you that the lady was trying to get me to spend the full 300, which, you know, almost I did, but I'm not that, um, what's it called? I'm not a brand person. Like, like if someone buys them for me, great. You know what I mean? But for me, I just want to be able to see. That's my only worry. Just let me see. I don't care if it was Dolce Cabana, Dolce Cabana. Dolce Gabbana, any of that. I like all that stuff really doesn't um, make me jump on it. Yeah, you know, glasses are a, um, you know, accessory. But for me, my worry is like, these $300 glasses, if I fuck around and break the frame, I'm going to have to buy some new glasses. I'm not paying $300 out of pocket. So for me, it's one of those things like I just give me a pair of good frames that can hold on my ear that I don't have to fight with um like with these ones they have a good ear grip and I'm very happy with that um because there's a lot of glasses and stuff that don't their frames you paint a lot of money but they slide I, I don't need all that I don't want that I need my glasses to sit on my ears because for me I don't like the original nose guards that you can move these ones I like because they're stationary they stay there they're attached to the frame so then you go so I can see the glasses y'all see that detail I love it I love it love it and they go on so easy yes Yes, it's more clear for mommy. Mommy can see a lot better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's just like I, uh, I love them. Sorry, I'm really having a hard time breathing right now. So if you don't know, I have been a cigarette smoker since I was 15. And here recently, and I've stopped before. I stopped smoking tobacco. Uh, well, cigarettes. In general, that's uh, tobacco. I when I say tobacco, I include black and miles. But I, I had, I guess you could say, graduated from black and miles to cigarettes at like the age of 18. So technically, tobacco smoking I've been doing since I was 15. Cigarettes since I was like 17, 18, and I just recently stopped smoking. Uh, tobacco uh, the day after Christmas so I had bought a pack um, a week prior possibly I think it's a week prior to Christmas and for me I wanted to stop a long time ago so like the very first time backstory so the very first time I stopped smoking cigarettes was 2006 I was with somebody, they didn't like the smell of cigarettes, they didn't want to kiss me because of the cigarette smell, which was very understandable. Um, so, because they didn't smoke, they were not a smoker. They would smoke other things, but they didn't smoke cigarettes. So, like they smoked marijuana. Um, 
and black no not even blacks at that time just marijuana marijuana for them so anyway i stopped smoking for them um did it stop for about six months i gained like 30 to 40 pounds because i would eat instead and i worked at a grocery store so that didn't have that didn't work um i got to about 300 pounds you really couldn't tell because of the way that i'm shaped but that's what happened um eventually i ended up starting back smoking cigarettes again um just because i was trying to kick the habit but like i did could they say anything over what 21 days you tip, tip, uh, technically kicked it but other things were happening that was pissing me off so where that was like my go-to so i started back smoking again and it had been since then forward all the way until um just recently here in 2023 well um, I bought my last pack a week before Christmas and my last cigarette I had was um, the day after Christmas and I told myself that I wasn't going to waste any more money um, to go get any more. Sorry, I'm trying to pay attention at the same time. So what ended up happening is I... Uh, smoked my last cigarette that day after Christmas and then by that Friday because Christmas we know was on a Monday but by that Monday I mean by that Friday I was sick like I got a I had like a little uh tingle in my throat and then next thing I know my son was saying he didn't feel good either and I didn't I, so from that what that Tuesday to that Friday because I smoked my last cigarette that Tuesday uh, it was like that Tuesday afternoon like midday because work pissed me off but I smoked my last cigarette then didn't have any at all so that's what a couple days so Friday of course I feel sick so then of course that friday is the friday before new year's well me and sun sun and that's this is why i think it's god's inter intervening to make sure that i didn't buy anymore because i had money but that mean i would have to drag my son out the house take him to the store with me just for me to get some cigarettes and i wasn't going to do that he doesn't deserve that you know what i mean because it's not his habit it's my habit so i wasn't going to do that plus i was sick so that Friday, that's when we first both felt sick. Saturday, got even worse. Baby boy had a headache and he started running a fever. So of course I'm definitely not about to take him out of the house just for me to get some cigarettes. No, that wasn't happening. Um, Sunday was even worse. I did get his fever to break uh, that Sunday morning cause he was hot, hot. Um, so it ended up being see that so that Sunday was what New Year's Eve we were both on cough syrup and I didn't really have a cough he did but I didn't I just had a headache and I didn't feel good but eventually it was uh, sorry it's hard to breathe this is why I'm saying this this conversation anyway um, it ended up being New Year's Day still sick uh, but I didn't have a cough which was I didn't have a bad cough. I just had a trickle in my throat. Either way, it's now February. Today's February 3rd. And I haven't had a cigarette or just in general since December 26th. So over a month, which is great. But last night, I'm laying down or trying to lay down. And the right side, underneath my breast, every time I breathe, it hurts. So I know they say that, you know, your body has to heal or it's healing from the tobacco use and all that stuff. Like, it's been over a month. Why is my right side hurting now? And it hurts every time I breathe in. And I haven't been like been like nothing's hit me, nothing's fell on me. 
And I usually play with my son and he jumps on me and stuff, but he jumps on my back. But even still with that, it doesn't hurt me or anything like that. But for some reason, every breath I take right now, every single breath, just like that, my right side. Like, so I thought it was because I ate, you know, I ate too fast or something last night. Because it started to be a little bit hard to breathe on that side. Like, it doesn't hurt. It's not hurting. But it's just like, okay, when you're breathing a little bit, it's a little bit of achy. So, I uh, guess, of course, I'm going to have to make a dog's point. If it is not better by Monday, then I'm just going to go to the urgent care. Because right now, it's Saturday. I don't feel bad. Like, I don't feel like I'm going to pass out or anything like that. I'm good. But it definitely hurts a little bit to breathe on that side. But that's it. My left side feels fine. So, I don't know. But we'll see. All y'all, this is a song. Yes, man, please have a cheeseburger happy meal for a boy with extra french fries with a blue slushie for the drink. Do you want nuggets too? Mm -hmm. Can I also have a six piece nugget with hot with hot mustard, please? Okay. Anything else? Um give me just a moment, hold on. Uh, may I also have Let me get two McDoubles, no pickle. I'm sorry, what did you say? Two McDoubles, no pickle. With a um, medium french fry. Okay. And that's it. Okay, first one, thank you. Thank you. Girl, this cash came, girl. That shows how much I have not been off the house. My max, I think now I have to party. Oh, there's where my other card went to. What happened? Because mommy found her other card. I thought I was going to have to order a new one. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. It's because mommy forgot to put it back in her wallet when we went to the um, exhibit. That's another thing, guys. Oh, my God. It's really hard to breathe on this side. I have to uh, put up the post. Go on, no, don't you come over here. <clears throat> Get away from my car. Y'all, these people. He out here picking up damn cigarettes. Y'all. He is literally out here picking up cigarettes, though. Cigarettes. He's about to walk up. I know y'all seen that. He's about to walk up to my door. Like, he was going to go. Y'all couldn't see in front. He was going to go in front of me first. Um, and then he walked behind me. Like, he was going to go in front of my car. Then he came back towards my door side. And looked me in my face and then tried to lean in and look at my money. I had to put that shit down. Like, what? And then he, um... And then he leaned down and picked up a, a cigarette that someone's thrown out of their car. Ew. I feel for this world. No. I have the, um, cheeseburger happy meal with six piece and two McDoubles and a medium fry. Yeah, with the medium for try. Okay. There you go. <clears throat> Thank you, sweetheart. You have a good day. Yeah, he literally was about to walk up to my car, y'all. 
well, you know, thankfully my window was closed. Hello. Uh, two mic double, no onions? Mm, no, 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 it's no pickles. pickles. Uh -huh. It's not going to happen in your yes. cheeseburger. Mm-hmm. Well, had mustard sauce. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let me see. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay. All right. Yeah, I think I have to potty now. This is crazy. And I'm not about to go anywhere to potty. I'm just going to have to hold it till we get down there. They would pull out that way. Hold on, buddy, okay? Mm -hmm. You want french fries first? Or burger? You not hungry? Mm -mm. Oh, well, it's going to be cold. It's going to be cold by the time we get there, baby. So if you're hungry now, you need to eat. I didn't know that. Uh-huh. Okay, so do you want french fries or burger first? Uh, burger. Burger? I know you're a fan of burgers. That's why we make our cheeseburgers at home. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, keep it in the wrapper, okay? Yeah, hold it. You got it? See ya. It even hurt just to grab my food with my hands. It's crazy. This is like, I think, it's like my whole body is just getting old sucks, y'all. It really does. There's about to be a mini car mukbang while moving. McDoubles. I get no pickles just because I don't like warm pickles. Why? I just don't like them, baby. Well, I like them. Mm hmm. All right, y'all. Got there. 
morning I had to hurry up and get my sister's hair done so she can get on to work because she has to leave by a certain time but um definitely enjoy the time there with my folks and me and my folks surprised my little one with a new Xbox so the one he was using he couldn't use anymore but he told my little one he was gonna have another one and he didn't think he was he thought mommy was joking but he was able to get him his other one and he's all smiles his own it's his first big boy system that he's ever had he has like a switch but you know switch is handheld but you can still use it on the tv but this is his first big boy system so my brothers, when they were growing up, they got every system they wanted with no questions asked. It wasn't new, like it would be a new one, but it wouldn't be exactly like when it came out. Like say, if the Xbox came out tomorrow. They wouldn't be as soon as they come out, but they would still get it. So, same thing with Sun Sun. It wasn't, you know, something that he was expecting. But I did tell him that, hey, you'll have another one, don't worry. So, again, anyway, on our way home now, got to set this thing up for him, get him his favorite meal, which is a happy meal. Uh-huh. And then, um, find me something to eat, because I did not take out anything today. I totally forgot to know we want to be out for a while. So I didn't take anything out to thaw, so I didn't want it to thaw too fast and we not be home to put it away. Um, but, so we wanna do that. We're on our way to go home to find food to eat. Yes, we're gonna eat out for tonight. And then tomorrow, Sunday, so of course I'll cook. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're doing now. I hope everyone is having a good day. I'm on the highway. Catch up with us. I know you can see his little face as he's looking. I see you. <laughs> we'll go ahead and get to the home. I'll catch y'all when we get to where we're going to get some eat. Later.